Um, some companies do W-2, some companies do 1099, some companies pay like weekly salary, but that's just a draw. How do you compensate your sales guys when they first come into the business? Um, and then obviously I'm sure it's a tier where it, it goes up from there. Yeah, so we we actually just changed that. We have um, we have our group of guys that have been with us for uh, anybody over nine months right now, which is you know three of our our roofers now have been with us for periods greater than nine months, <coughs> which we've been in business for ten months, so they they came on pretty early. Um, those guys make a a, a specific percentage. They're at fifty percent gross profit. And I'm going to keep them at 50% gross profit because that's what I agreed to when I brought them on. Yep. Um, and I'm going to, I'm going to fulfill my word there. Um, and so those guys are staying on, but the rest of the people that are entering into the organization are going to be starting off at a lower percentage of profit. Um, and so they will be in the 25 to 30 realm, depending on any experience that they may have in sales, things of that nature, where they are. And from 25, they'll venture up into 30% as they start producing their first assisted lead. So they're out door knocking with somebody in the company or in the culture. Um, they're checking off. I have created in my time in roofing um, a manual that I try to teach my incoming sales reps from. And I also have quizzes to make sure that they understand the sections inside of that manual, like how to orate what hail looks like. Can you explain? Not, you know, do you know what hail damage looks like? Can you tell a homeowner why hail damage is functional damage to a fiberglass shingle, right? Yeah. Can, you, can you do that? And if you can, we check off the boxes. And when you're all said and done and you've done the personal development, you've, I, I build these, these um, planners for my guys and I try to get them to use them every day. And it's like herding cats yeah. to try and get them to use these planners. But you look at it as a grand total and you can see the people that are doing the micro discipline are excelling in the other areas of their commission-based sales life. And so you give them the tools and then they go into 30% profit. And then when they start producing greater than $65,000 a month, they move into another pay realm where they get another bump, 31 and a half. 33, 40%. And the people that ultimately make their way into our construction project management, that's another branch that we're working on building out separately from just our residential roofing guys. Because commercial project management, much tighter timelines, much harder. Uh, let's say like if you've ever had to deal with the city of Austin or the city of San Antonio for permitting purposes, you understand what that's like. Yep. That takes a squared away, accountable, motivated, early morning type of an individual to, to handle those things. Yes, sir. Right. Not your it's not it's not going to be every sales rep in your organization is going to be cut out to be a commercial project manager. So we want to make sure that we take the best people from our residential side that understand and how to utilize the CRM and what accountability and personal development looks like and then make them commercial project managers. So, and then, so that opens up a realm, you know, of, of further advancement, larger paychecks, things like that. Um, but we're currently building out these systems as we speak. And so that's why it's like, it's really exciting for me. 